Luke, so you just signed a, a new two-year deal with us, which is very exciting. Um, can you tell us how it came about and how you're feeling about it? Yeah, um, it's been, you know, we've had a couple of conversations and I think we it was a mutual decision that, you know, it was better to talk about it once the season was done because, you know, the season was the main focus, but, you know, things have gone pretty smoothly here and I'm happy to be here for another couple of years. Your situation is a little bit different to the other signings that have happened this week in that you already had 12 months existing on your previous deal. Uh, it must be a real boost of confidence to you to know that the club wanted to extend that and, and equally for the club to know that you're committed to do so. Yeah, um, yeah, like you said, it was it was a nice feeling, you know, and like I said before, I'm happy to stay here, you know, when the fans are coming back in this season as well and the stadium's rocking, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Last season was... Um, really challenging for, for everyone wasn't it it was very intense but you had some incredible highlights 18 goals I think you won PFA player of the month twice back to back uh, obviously now you're a, a full, fully fledged member of the under 21 Wales team do you, how do you reflect on your season as a whole um, I think in some areas I did better than what I hoped for in terms of you know the goals and stuff like that and playing as many minutes as I did which you know down to the gaffer really because he's the one that you know picks a team but um, you know towards the end of the season I think didn't really reach you know the targets I'd set myself in January and that's unfortunate but you know I've got obviously I've got my target for next season now which is to just kick on and do better than I did last season. It was remarkable really wasn't it I think um, at one point you'd scored 14 in 18 games something like that and um, do, you, do you put it down to a bit more kind of um, opposition paying more attention to you, doing more research on you, because obviously your scoring record was at one point clear in the division. Um, yeah, I think towards you know the end of the season, uh, teams did a bit more research on you know the way we play and stuff, and I think they did well really to you know limit our chances um, for me and for the rest of the team. You know when it came into the final third, I think. Yeah, it was definitely a lot harder to break teams down in the second half of the season. You kind of um, <laughs> come a, a, a really long way. For, Truro was eighteen months ago, wasn't it? It's was staggering to think about. Yeah. Um, have you got a favourite memory from your kind of whirlwind well season and a half back at the club? Um, I've got a couple. To be fair, you know, playing my first game back here, scoring a brace, and then obviously the big one from the season before getting the promotion, you know, something that we, you know, really wanted and what we wanted to achieve last season and what we unfortunately couldn't and I'm just happy that I could, you know, help the team with scoring as many goals as I did and just, you know, really looking forward to kicking on next season. The the majority of your goals in your career here now have, have been played have scored without fans in the stadium, probably without your friends and family who are extremely proud. You, you must be delighted with the prospect of them coming back soon. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's not just me. It's you know everyone in the team. I'm sure will say the same thing. You know, it hasn't been the same without the fans, and we've obviously got an unbelievable fan base here as well. And you know, even when people weren't allowed in, you know still supporting from home and I'm just really looking forward to you know getting back out there scoring some goals in front of the fans and you know just hearing the stadium bounce. For the majority of the squad it's, it's, it's been the middle of the off season now but of course last week you were representing the under 21s is that sort of helpful in in keeping your eye in as it were and, and sort of keeping your match fit and ready for, for pre-season in a few weeks? Yeah definitely you know because I had to keep ticking over you know stay fit for that and then I think from there I've just really kicked on you know from there just haven't had obviously I had the two weeks off at the start and then got back into it with Wales and now I'm just really kicking on and looking forward to the season ahead. You've signed at a, a great time it's been a, a really busy, exciting week for the club, lots of players recommitting their, their, their future to the club. How do you feel from, from kind of your perspective the squad is, is shaping up ahead of next season? Um, you know, very well. You know, I think we've got quite a few players from last season as well and you know we brought in some new faces and I'm sure we'll bring in a couple more and you know there's real quality and strength and depth in this squad and I think we can achieve some really good things. A few of those re-signing players are obviously academy graduates like yourself. You're kind of spearheading this this wave of academy talent that's that's made its way into the first team now. Do you take a personal amount of pride in in sort of representing the academy on on the big stage? Um, in a way, yes, but I don't think I really, you know, paid too much attention to 
it in that way because you know the gaff has shown since he's been here that no matter your age like he's shown with me Coops you know throwing laws in as well towards the end of the season Ollie coming up with us you know being on the bench I think he shows that if if you've got the talent you know he will he will play you cheers Luke, well done. cheers